Hello. Hello. I'm so happy that we are doing this interview. This is a special Nimbus Sextet Ding in the Crates at Bettino's record. And you are with DJ Ness Afro for Ness Radio. And this is Joe Nichols, the band leader of Nimbus Sextet. Why can't you see what's right in front of you? Does he know he can lose me just like that? You know what? I'm ready. Honey, happen again. Swaggering tags in at 3 a.m. Got the scent of someone else and it's the wine. After all this time, I feel like I know her. So he stumbles in the bed, kiss me on the head, kiss me where it hurts, kiss me where you went to kiss her instead. And I'll pretend I'm resting easy. So what's it gonna be? Oh my love, darling, are you still mine? Maybe we'll speak, maybe we'll see. On my other days, all the other ways. that discovered Jamiroquai and the brand new heavies. Pretty amazing. I mean, acid jazz has such an amazing history for reviving jazz, I think, you know, not just in the UK, but all over the world from the 90s when it was kind of suffering. They really brought it back into the fold. And we, all these years later, when we got signed in 2019, um, we're part of the renaissance of that label and it's been absolutely incredible to release both Forward Tinker here 
Um, so that's our second album on Acid Jazz and our first album, Dream Fulfilled, um, which came out a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, they're iconic um, and the name still carries today and it's a pleasure to be part of it.
keeps you young. Keep, good music keeps you young, <laughs> and writing keeps you young. Like my grandpa was writing, he was a trumpeter, right up until he died doing, you know, classical orchestra suites, but also playing jazz, which is what he grew up doing. Um, and he ran a band for all his life, really, and it kept him young. And Herbie's doing the same, you know. That's right, because actually on your way uh, to RFI uh, yesterday, you were talking to me about your father and your grandfather that are both very much into jazz. Yes. Yes. And your father uh, was very uh, into fusion jazz, was open to many styles. Yeah. So he's the one that influenced you the most, or do you think it's your grandfather? It's, it's nuanced because my dad introduced me to a lot of the classic Blue Note recordings um, and, and introduced me to fusion too. Like he got, he opened the portal with Headhunters and, and the like, you know, um, Earth, Wind and Fire, Gratitude you know, that kind of era. Um, but I then explored it myself. Um, my dad and I used to jam together. Um, he would jam, he'd jam with me on double bass and I'd play keys. So that's wow. how I started writing grooves. Age 12, 13, we started doing that and did it for years and years until I left home.
what we see here now the this is album number one this is album number two and they were both designed by Jaffa who does lots of amazing artwork but the paintings themselves were from the fantastic Glasgow based artist Poppy Amber Rose um, and this one is called Afro Girl and this one was called Rainbow Warrior um, and so they were absolutely beautiful so I, saw, I know Poppy and I saw her work and I just thought this is what we want to represent this wonderful music. Thank you. 
What was the first jazz record that you bought as a teenager that you remember, or the last? Either the first or either the last? Um, the first record I remember owning um, a song from my father, um, Horace Silver. Who again, it's this soul jazz funk thing. Like he was, Horace Silver was, was playing funk before it existed. That's what I love about him, I mean, just like doo -doo 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 -doo. he just had all these rhythmic ideas, such a percussive piano player. I mean, I was a drummer first and before I actually played piano, so I learned drums when I was seven and picked up the piano when I was 12, 13. I also play harmonica too. Um, but what Horace did was he played really percussively like a drummer. So when I was learning and I'm self-taught, I was listening to how he just grooved on the piano. And for me to have a natural feel I had looked at to him. And my dad gave me that record and I was just blown away.
Thank you so much. Good morning. We've been Nimbus Sextet. It's Alex Palmer on the drums. Misha Stevens on bass and percussion. Honza Karimsky on guitar. You and Allardyce on trumpet. Michael Butcher on the saxophone. I'm Joe Nichols. It's been such a pleasure to play here, guys. I'm in heaven, man. Je suis à plus d'appeler. You can get your copy of the album at the back. We'll see you very, very soon. Take care.